The motor fan is driven by the motor shaft and provides cooling airflow to both the motor and the pump. If debris enter the pump housing, the plastic fan blades can be damaged or broken off. A broken fan can lead to heat damage to the pump and motor. Replacing the motor fan is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. Before you begin any repairs on your air compressor, you'll want to be sure to drain the air from the tank. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the three screws that secure the pump head to the tank. Now remove the screws that secure the two halves of the pump housing. Now I'll remove the pump and motor assembly from the opposite housing. First I'll remove the grounding screw and the yellow wire. Now I can pull the assembly from the housing. On the opposite side of the motor, I'll remove the white wire. With the pump and motor assembly removed from the compressor, I can go ahead and remove the fan. I found the easiest way to do this is with a gear puller. To make room for the puller, I'll remove three of the fan blades a third of the way away from each other. Now I can install the gear puller and pull the fan away from the shaft. Now I can install the new fan. I'll place it over the motor shaft and use a rubber mallet to get it started onto the shaft. I'll use a socket to tap it the rest of the way in place. Now I can reinstall the motor and pump assembly into the housing. I'll reconnect the white wire. As I slide the pump back into the housing, I want to make sure that I align the isolators with the grooves in the housing. I also need to route the wires around the pump. I'll reconnect the yellow wire. and the ground wire. I'll make sure each of the wires are tucked out of the way so they won't rub against the fan or the armature. Now I can reinstall the other housing. I'll make sure the cord is aligned with the housing. And then I need to kind of shift the housing around until it aligns with the pump. 
there's an isolator on this back side that needs to fit into a pocket on the housing. Now I'll reinstall the screws that secure the two halves of the housing together. Now re-secure the pump head to the tank. And that's all it takes to install a new motor fan on your air compressor. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.